In fact, it looks like 5 to 10 to even 15 inches of rain right now. Hermine, about 40 miles to the east of Apalachicola, Florida. And this is a lesson in what you need to do to prepare because we see what other people are going through. So let's check out the tropics. We've got Hermine, max winds 80 miles per hour. Gaston has diminished in intensity, 75 miles per hour. It's heading towards the Azores. This little system, about a 20% chance for tropical development. It's moving into dry air. I feel pretty good about it, that it's not going to develop. And of course, Madeline went really just to the south of the big island of Hawaii. Meanwhile, Leicester looks like it's going to move over the northern portion, could still be a hurricane. So we can come back home and we've got the cold front to the north that's pushing to the south. We had some rain. The models were showing that potential and they were right. Then we can look at what's happening with Hermine. And it's a, I mean, it's causing big problems. Very heavy rain bands are moving on shore. And with this band that's moving on right now, the real potential for tornadoes, tornado warnings are posted. You can see that big center and that's just about on shore. Meanwhile, we can look at the satellite picture. There it is. Uh, and, and it's becoming more diffuse right now. Harder to pick out exactly where that center is. Meanwhile, back home, we had some rain start up on the north shore push to the south shore and nothing now. Well, a couple of sprinkles on the north, not much. But here's that storm that pushed through. We had winds gust to 41 miles per hour at the lakefront. You would think with all that thunder and lightning, we would have done better for the Saints, right? But there is a look at the rain that's moving through Chalmette, heading towards Poitras right there at Bell Chase. Not a lot farther to the south. We still have some rain over in Terrebonne Parish. So the forecast model still showing some rain developing right there in southwest Mississippi and then it moves to the south going into tomorrow mainly the south shore I've just got a 20 percent chance of rain but here is the forecast model there's the cold front to the north I'll step out of the way pushing to the northeast very heavy rain potential across Georgia into South Carolina then that moves up the east coast for us we've got this cold front that's going to be in the neighborhood based basically washing out. But for Saturday and Sunday, I do have a 30% chance of rain, so be aware of that potential. Temperatures to the north are much cooler, all associated with that cold front. We don't get so much of that. Look at this, the light on the clouds. Kelly sent that in, so beautiful. Crepuscular rays from my friend Daniel Graves. And then look in Socher. I mean, Anthony Pollard was showing some rain coming down and a gorgeous sky. That one was from Tiff. Rainfall for the month of August came in the fourth wettest. We knew it was a wet month and August was the second hottest and today was the hottest ever for this day 98 degrees all across the area basically mid to the upper 90s but low 90s along the coast we just dropped below 90 degrees 89 degrees now 82 over at the lakefront, 78 at Slidell. Your rain cooled there, but the heat index is still 99 degrees at the airport. Low temperatures from the low 70s to the low 80s, and your high temperatures tomorrow right there in the mid 90s, low 90s along the coast. Quick look. There is a look at Hermine. You can see it in 3D with that very heavy rain moving on shore, the potential for very heavy rain and four tornadoes and storm surge. So for tomorrow, we're in the mid 90s, little bit more rain for Saturday and Sunday. For your Labor Day, I think highs more in the low 90s. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but that's what I'm going with.